Here is how you can live stream in high quality to any platform from either an iPhone, iPad or an Android device. Now, of course, there's many ways to stream from mobile devices, but this method is going to use capture cards and here's all the requirements. So this should work on a PC, laptop or Mac, but probably not a Chromebook. As I said, you need a capture card. Today, I'll be using the Elgato 4KX, which was gifted to me by Elgato. I'll put some of their different priced capture cards in the description as affiliate links but you can use cheaper, less reliable capture cards if you like. And especially if you're using a phone, you might want a tripod just to stabilize your phone. Specifically for Android, the Elgato website states that you need an Android device that can output video and an adapter to convert the port on your device to HDMI. Similarly for iPhone or iPad, you need a digital AV adapter and the one you get depends on whether you're using USB-C or Lightning. Again, I'll put links to those in the description as well. For me, I'm using this USB-C one. So I will start just by plugging the adapter into my phone. As you can see, there's an HDMI port on this. So I'll just plug in an HDMI cable into one end. And here's my 4KX. I'm gonna plug this carefully into HDMI in and make sure it's not plugged into out. And actually we don't need the out option for this. We just need to plug USB-C into one end and the other end of the USB-C goes into your computer. And in the description, I'll put this website. We need to download the correct capture card software. So what you basically just do is scroll down a little bit. If you know what you want, then just press download, but you can click on select your product, find the correct capture card. For me, I'll click on the 4KX and it just suggests the correct one. Of course, if you're using a different capture card, download the relevant software and then just unlock your phone and open your capture utility. And you should see your phone just like that. And if you want to in Elgato, change the settings, open the preferences in the top right. And you can go through any of these settings, especially if you want to record. For me, I've set mine to record in 4K 60. And once you're happy with the settings, you can actually just close the capture utility because now we're going to set up our streaming software. You can set up any streaming software. I'm going to set up OBS. So I'm using Atom Vertical and OBS, which gives me both the landscape and vertical canvas. Let's add it to both, depending on which one you're using. So if you want a blank set of scenes, I just went scenes new and I made a capture card scene. Under the sources, click on the plus button, choose video capture device. I've renamed it to Elgato 4KX. And from the device dropdown list, find your 4KX. For me, it is at the top. I'm going to configure the resolution because we can have a lot of different resolutions. For example, if I only wanted it in 1080p, that's 1920 by 1080. But I've got 4K, so I may as well set that. I'm also going to go on the highest possible FPS and I'm going to press OK. And of course, I'm on a 1080p canvas, so you can see it's added it very large. We can, of course, click on it and then just drag to resize. You can also hold the Alt button and drag to crop something like this and then just keep resizing it and place it where you want onto your canvas. It is a similar method to add it on the vertical canvas. So behind me, behind my chair, press the plus button. I'm clicking video capture device. You either press new or if you've already added it, then just choose it from the list. And once again, I'm going to have to resize it again because I added it in 4K. So just move it around until you've got it where you want on the screen. One unfortunate thing these days is most phones are not actually 9 by 16 dimensions. So usually the top or bottom of the screen is cut off. As you can see here with Clash, the top of the screen is kind of missing. Now, if you look at my OBS here, you can see the volume bars moving up and down. And this enables me, if I had my headset on, to hear the game through my computer. And of course, it lets your viewers hear the game or whatever else you're screen sharing. So this is important. Click the three dots or right click advanced audio properties. And if you want to hear it through the computer as well, switch it to monitor and output and press close. And now both you and the viewers can hear it. If you just want the viewers to hear it, you can just leave it on monitor off. Play around with what you think works best for you. And of course, you might want to continue setting up your live stream. So just add any other relevant sources. For example, most people want to add a webcam. So that is also a video capture device. So for example, if I just quickly add in my Obspot Taylor, I would then just crop it as we did earlier on until it fits nicely on the screen. So for example, I might want mine 
something like that and I would reorder it so the 4KX is on top and now my game is on the left and I'm on the right and of course similar method on the vertical canvas you just add a video capture device or whatever else you want such as text or images so it is simple as that to create high quality live streams for your iPhone, iPad or Android device. If you want more detail about streaming on these platforms such as Twitch, YouTube or Kick, I'll put some guides on screen now.